Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Android HQ here, and today, on my Troid, I have what is basically ice cream sandwich. Now, I would like to thank Hashcode for uh, making this. It's called CyanogenMod9. Uh, that's C-Y-A-N-O-G-E-N-M-O-D-9. Uh, this is made for the Droid 3, and he basically took the ice cream sandwich source code and he, uh, you know, like, took parts of it, rewrote it, and made it compatible with the Droid 3, the Droid Razor, and Droid Bionic. Uh, also, I have a cold, so sorry if I sound funny. Um, so basically, it, this has almost all the features that Ice Cream Sandwich has. It's got the same, uh, designs and stuff. Uh, the only difference is it is missing some of the features, and of course there are a few bugs, but nothing major. Now, first of all, you get this default wallpaper, which is, you know, the kind of flying specks and circles in the background with a nice purple tone. You get the new notifications bar. Uh, it's got quick toggles up top, which are really nice. You can shut off Wi-Fi really quick. Oops. I'm doing this without looking. So you can shut off Wi-Fi, turn it back on, jump right to settings like I accidentally did. And then notifications, you can just swipe them away. Also, you have multitasking, hold down the home brings up with all your recent stuff and same thing goes for this you can just swipe them away so that's pretty awesome um, again most of these features sorry all of these features are from ice cream sandwich the uh, few custom things that hashcode added are apps like uh, DSP manager sorry this is out of focus it's always out of focus but this is basically controls your audio in headphones and in the speaker, you can like, change the bass and equalizer and stuff. You get an app called Developer Tools, which is a bunch of utilities. I wish this would focus. <clears throat> and you also get the Cyanogen Mod settings, which most of them are empty except for like the automatic backlight, uh, notification power widget. The rest of these are empty for now, but he'll be adding in stuff. <laughs> Uh, it also comes with a Wi-Fi tether app that's better than the one it starts with, and it's got, you know, the new folders. If you drag and drop onto each other, it creates a nice folder. Um, it's got the new dock with the app drawer. But basically all this stuff is ice cream sandwich. So what I'm going to talk about is the bugs mainly. Um, battery life, it's not really a bug, but it's not the best. It is worse than stock. On the Droid 3, I'm getting uh, maybe about 7-8 hours of use, which it isn't bad, but, you know, I, I go to school, I have to wake up early, so I do have to charge it uh, midway through the day at like 4 o'clock to keep it alive for the rest of the day. Um, another bug is the microphone isn't properly working, which I don't know if you know about Hashio because I haven't seen anything about it, but like if you go to the voice commands, Nothing's showing up. I've gone to calls and people can't hear me because the mic isn't working. It's not like just this. It might just be this too, but then this crashes and it's just a mess after that point. Um, and then the last thing is the camera doesn't work, which, quite honestly, I could live without the camera working. As you can see, it just doesn't load. Uh, but, you know, the big thing would be the mic. For whatever reason, that isn't working, or if it's the speech assistant or whatever is going on with that that's a big problem to me um gps doesn't work but again it's not really that big of a deal unless you use it a lot um and then you know stuff occasionally force closes like after a few days the data usage doesn't work which is weird <clears throat> and it takes like two days to stop working and apparently that always happens but I don't know. But, I mean, other than that, everything else works. You get all the widgets. You can text. You can, um, well, sort of call for a little bit, and then it stops working. So hopefully you can fix that hash code. Um, Wi-Fi works. 3G works. Regular cell signal works. You get uh, the notifications bar, the new theme. You get... I would show you the new voice commands, because it is really cool, but it's not working, unfortunately. Um, if I go to a message, I want to show you all my messages. 
but as you can see here's the new message kind of layout which it's simpler than before but it's not bad <clears throat> and a new keyboard that's the uh, portrait here's the landscape and also it's got a nice cleaner looking bar for when you misspell words you just tap on the word and it has suggestions add to dictionary or delete the word <clears throat> so that's a lot better for typing I found the keyboard a lot uh, better than before easier to actually type on because before the keys were really elongated on the droid for whatever reason but this gets rid of them um, but that's basically it so I do like this ROM a lot but uh, this is keep in mind this is only the fifth alpha build it's still an alpha once it gets to beta then I would say yes get it right away but as of now I would say get it if you just want to try out ice cream sandwich uh, or if you don't really use your phone that often and you just play games on it or text people but I mean if you use it every day you use most of the aspects like calling in the camera and stuff I would say to hold off until maybe the beta versions come out or the um, official Cyanogen Mod 9 comes out you know like out of beta because then the battery will be improved GPS will work mic will work camera will work stuff like that um, of course, there's a lot of stuff I didn't go through because he basically just took Ice Cream Sandwich and uh, made it work on the droid. Um, here's the browser. You know, nothing too fancy. It is a lot better, though. Um, you know, you get all sorts of stuff that's better. But, um, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching this. Again, I would only recommend you get this if you want to try out Ice Cream Sandwich. Don't get it expecting you're going to be using it every single day and it's going to replace your ROM before or your um, stock operating system because it won't be ready to do that until it uh, until hash code fixes out all the little bugs like that. But then definitely it's going to be way worth it. And this is out way before uh, Motorola even released any Ice Cream Sandwich updates. They just released it for the Zoom today, I believe. This was out for a while. So um, kudos to you, hash code. Nice job. And I look forward to the future builds. I will be updating it when the uh, first beta comes out. But for now, I'm going to go back to the stock just because I need the better battery life. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And please check out Hashcode's ROM. I'll put a link down there. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you later.